All right, we're getting ready to go. As Scott, <laughs> get this going, make ourselves head towards a uh, red squirrel in Scotland. Uh, we're gonna meet Scott there. I'm just stopping here at the Green Welly shop and get a few things and then I'm there, more or less. 40 minutes away at this point, but that determines on the conditions of the road and the weather and traffic. <laughs> well, this is what I expected, snow. <laughs> Yep, here, setting up camp. Just got this set up here. Just so I can keep the firewood 
that I got out of my car. If you watched my channel before, you all know about the red squirrel. There's everybody. All the tent boxes that are currently here on a Thursday night. A lot more due here tomorrow, Friday. Keeps raining on and off. It's really nice to see the snow upon these mountains. Oh, well, I'm just gonna enjoy my first day here and just chill out, get set up, get a few things organized, and uh, start recording again uh, come tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. All the frost on Scott's tent. Are you cold? <laughs> Hello. Morning. You were cold? I don't know. That tent box blanket does me pretty well. As well as my sleeping bag. It was quite cold, but I slept fine. Oh, okay. That's good. Oh. So there's a reason why I'm a bit slow going with getting up and walking around, a bit slow with walking around. I have fractured my uh, little toe on my left foot. So, no hiking. I haven't been doing much for the last three weeks. So, I almost thought I wouldn't be able to come out and do this, but this has cheered me up a bit, being able to come out and join other people camping. Alright, well, I better get up and get my breakfast going. Got the Jackery there, charging my phone. Woke up to a dying phone this morning. Very pretty here. Cold, but very pretty. You see all the steam and the moisture off the tent box coming off it. With the sun behind me. A little bit of moisture inside, not too bad. Done me well. Another tent box cargo. Tent box classic there and the light 2.0 there. Here's the light 1.0s. Here's the new uh, new cargo in green, matching this Volkswagen uh, Caddy. Very nice. You can follow their uh, Instagram. Hello there. I got nothing for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was, a, was that a Turkish barber? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure is beautiful here. I've said that many a times. I'm 
sure love coming to the Red Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, more of us will start showing up soon. This is what I got for lunch. Got another duster over there, so I'm being invaded by more dusters. This is uh, the or original version of the 10 box cargo. He's customized it with some reflectors. Very cool. You can see the slight difference in design to this version. That's more thicker. It's got the two rails and vents underneath. That's how cold it's been. <laughs> Just turned my food into jelly. Taught it out the can. More people getting set up. Fitness. Yep. Truck over there with a cargo on it with the awning put up.
Scott's again taking some more wonderful pictures. I, I don't want to risk walking across on this with my foot, but that's where I was parked up the last time I was here. If you remember that video, parked up here with the temp box light 2.0. I used some stones to level me up, so I was level in the tents and everything. And flew the drone around and really enjoyed. Really enjoyed the sights. Here's all the tree stumps, some of the trees they've had to cut down and everything else from those high winds in October that cancelled our original event. Oh, we got some uh, sheep coming over. We're being invaded, just to let you all know, the sheep are back. I guess the grass truly is greener on the other side at the Red Squirrel in Glencoe. This guy's got a friend who's uh, fabricated a nice little step for him. for free, bruv. Oh, look at that, fancy. Got it for free. So he can keep Best his tent. So he can keep his tent in the middle of the van and just has a nice little step out. Can you stand on that? Yeah, man. Show you. Show you. Ooh. Those move, Imagine though. If I fall now. Those move. Yeah, okay. Look. <laughs> What's your name again, man? Jam, bro. Jam. Ah. Ah. Well, isn't that nifty? Yeah, when I had my old van, it was, yeah, I, I was walking at the back. Because obviously I put it in the center. Uh -huh. The way I could do is like, lean it on the back side. So it's like a better, better get one this, this time. Yeah? Mm, very cool. 10 bucks on a trailer. That's nifty. Yeah, very cool, very nice.
Well, if it isn't Matthew, the tent box wanderer. <laughs> Fly in your drone, eh? Okay. What version is that? Yeah, I was fighting with the wind with mine. But I bet you do better than mine, because mine's a two. That's the one that can shatter you, right? That can follow you around yeah. as a setting for that? Yeah. That's how you get those really nice YouTube uh, videos of, you know, you walking along and the drone recording you. How's the footage looking though? Looks alright to be fair. Yeah. Oh, I do like that controller. I gotta use my phone as part of my screen. Mini little drone out now. Folds up. With no controller. So, so does it just go 50 feet above you? Yeah. There's different modes on it. So you could have like follow me mode. Or just like dolly track. Sat in front of you. Huh. And then there's like. There's, what is it? Orbits. You can stand there and it orbits you like that. Very cool. Got myself a cheeseburger and onion rings to look forward to, so. No cooking tonight. Good morning. We had a nice big campfire last night. After I bought my dinner. Three, three little fires going on. All sitting around it. I'm gonna go see an abandoned ship today which I'm going to make a separate video off. So after all this, I'll publish that video. But I'm going to get packed up here and uh, head off to go see it. Not too far away, about 40 minutes. Got to head in towards uh, Fort William though, so. All right, well, I'm going to get a start on that video. And when I come back, I'll uh, keep working on this one. There's a guy here, working with a big camera. The guy works for Tent Box. He's out here taking pictures of our tents and interesting setups and things like that, so. He's gonna come back this way in an hour and watch me put down my uh, tent. So, I better get going. I better get organized enough to be able to do that. All right, so I'm back. After my two other videos that you'll see later, <laughs> back at the Red Squirrel, walking around the campsite, gonna go check on a few people, good set up on the top of the van, eh? Good group over there, or two at the very end. Just past those vans. Tent boxes everywhere. Not the big. So much better for families though, the XL. Come over here quick and have a look at the view and then I'll join the others for a pint.
All right, it's time to go to Boots Bar. Well, it's that time. Everybody's heading off on a Sunday back home after such a fun event. What a great tent box meetup it was. Just saying goodbye to everybody now. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> been a good uh, how many four days? Yeah, Three just days that, yeah. Thursday, uh, yeah. It's been great. So good company. Yeah, definitely. And that's where I'm going to leave you. Thank you for watching my uh, tent box adventure at the Red Squirrel. It's been fun, made lots of friends, and got to do a quite a bit more than I thought I would, even though I couldn't hike. So, had fun, done a lot, made many new friends. Time to head home. <laughs>